Hello, hello, Murugam. If it's audible now. Oh, great, great, great. Okay, great. Okay. Okay, we'll start with our notes part. Okay. And then we'll head towards the ICI question answers. I will try to cover in Hindi and English both the languages. If in the flow I miss out anything, flow flow mein kuch aisa miss ho jaye, to aap please mujhe aaram se chat karke bataiye, okay? Yes, mujhe chat mein likh kar bata dena, I'll get back to it as soon as possible, okay? Uh, other than that, jo hum abhi discuss karenge for the marathon, the notes for the marathon and the question answers for the marathon will be available on the Telegram channel, okay? So don't need to re re write it down, but it is very much advisable to have your ICI module along with the uh, video that you are watching so that you are able to catch up very well. You are able to match your question answers and solve it as soon as uh, along with, okay? Even in the current session, I'll ask you to answer back and I'll ask you to solve it on your own. In case of difficulty, reach out to me, okay? So it will be more of a just uh, more of a two-way communication, okay? So the main purpose of this is to have a two-way con conversation uh, during the class, okay? To have a live lecture view. Great, are we good to start? Everybody? Chalo, good. Let's begin. Let's begin with our question uh, in AS2. Okay. Firstly, before starting Indian Accounting Standard 2, please comment in the chat box and let me know. Okay. Uh, we, we are running India S2 marathon today. We will be having a revision marathon for India 16 tomorrow. And then if it's run, if run, it runs well and it is in demand, then we'll head towards other Indias and we'll cover other Indias on other weekends, on the upcoming weekends. Okay. So what I'm asking is, before we head towards Indian Accounting Standard 2, please comment and tell me that Indian Accounting Standard 2 is taken from IAS2 or IFRS2. Can you tell me if it is... Indian uh, International Accounting Standard 2 or IFRS 2? Anybody in the answer? VM, what is your full name? No, IFRS, the IFRS is the wrong answer. Because since if it would have been IFRS, it would have been numbered in 100 plus CGE. As you know, it is IAS. That's why the numbering is similar. So the correct answer is IAS2. Okay, International Accounting Standard 2. If it would have been IFRS, okay, then the numbering would have been 102, 100 plus series. Okay, so this is a very, uh, this is a very simple trick. This is a very simple trick to identify whether it is IAS or IFRS. Are you able to get me? Okay. Now we'll be talking about in and out how the accounting is done. What is included in the inventory we'll be uh, discussing right now. Okay. Your inventory includes all the three things that is 
raw material finished goods and work in progress okay anything that is brought in anything that is brought in as raw material will be included in the inventory anything that is half processed not fully processed and it is not even the raw material in the bare state okay it will also be included in the inventory portion and thirdly it comes finished goods that is finally done with all the processes and is ready to be sold out okay so everything all these three three, these three that is simply we'll talk about raw material wip that is work in progress plus finished goods we'll talk about all three and include in in the inventory okay so we have to do valuation of all and then add it in the inventory portion see inventory is something uh, that will be shown in the balance sheet so for recording in the balance sheet you need to know what are the items that need to be included in the inventory and what is the amount at which such inventory should be recorded okay so here we'll be dealing in and out everything what will be included how it will be included and at what price it should be shown in the balance sheet okay so inventories are the assets these are the asset portion these are held by the company has to be shown in the financial statement on the asset side raw material wip and finished goods all the three are included as the part of the inventory we'll be talking about the accounting and the costing part of each and every one okay next we'll be talking about each and one each and every item one by one first comes stock in trade or you can say finished stock generally as uh, if you have uh, studied accounting standards generally what we do is we compare cost of the uh, inventory and the net realizable va value of the inventory whichever is lower we record that value as the value of inventory in the balance sheet okay this was one rule as per accounting standards okay but this is not true for all types of inventory that is that is i mean to say that it is not true and applicable for raw material wip and finished goods in total okay this is a general rule we'll be seeking how it is applied on each type of inventory differently Okay, uh, we'll uh, Yogi, Yogesh Rathi, welcome. Uh, see, I'll be answering this question in the end. Whether we are including all the marathons, uh, all the revision marathon in or not. Okay, because uh, if the response is good and you people are asking for it and you are happy to learn with this, then we'll continue with upcoming upcoming on upcoming weekends. If not. then we'll try to figure out something else other than that there is a uh, very quick revision course available uh, if you are willing to learn in this particular pattern then you can definitely enroll for that i'll tell about this in the end of this video okay i hope the audio video is clear please let me know and ping voice is low why why the voice is low it's okay from my side this is the best that i can do i think uh, anybody else facing low voice is it so good morning prerna happy to have you anybody else is my voice okay okay now i was talking about each and every item so it is said that for finished goods it is uh, valued at nrv or cost whichever is lower okay we will be um, comparing nrv or cost whichever is lower here meanwhile only only understand uh, we will be comparing two things that is cost and nrv how to calculate each and each one of it we'll, we'll be discussing in the later part of this video okay uh now if we talk about wip work in progress how you compare it is also done nrv or cost whichever is low and then you value at that particular amount this inventory will be recorded in the balance sheet okay but now specifically if we talk about 
रॉ मटेरियल अगर अलग से रॉ मटेरियल की बात करें तो इसकी अकाउंटिंग इसकी कंपैरिजन थोड़ा अलग तरीके से किया जाता है इट इज मेजर डिफरेंटली हाउ कम इट इज मेजर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ फिनिश गुड्स इट इज मेजर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ फिनिश गुड्स हाउ कम इफ फिनिश गुड्स इज वैल्यूड एट कॉस्ट देन द रॉ मटीरियल विल बी वैल्यूड एट कॉस्ट इफ इन केस द फिनिश गुड्स इज वैल्यूड एट नेट रियलाइजेबल वैल्यू दैट इज एन आर बी then the raw material will be valued at replacement cost this is very important very different okay you need to keep in mind also we have ici question for the same topic okay so what you do for finished goods aap compare karte hain for finished goods aap compare karte hain ki nrv ya cost lower hai theek hai jo bhi lower hai aap us par record karte hain okay now on the basis of that you decide for raw material agar finished goods cost par hai value to aap raw material ko bhi cost par karenge agar finished goods nrv par hai okay net realizable value par hai to aap apne raw material ko replacement cost par karenge replacement cost simply wo cost hai jis par aap fir se isko khareed kar la sakte hain maan lo aapke paas koi 10 material hai maan lo kuch bhi ek pen hai ya kuch bhi ink hai okay आपके लिए रॉ मटेरियल था इंक मान लो एक बार के लिए दस रुपए की आई तो उसका रिप्लेसमेंट कॉस्ट अगर मार्केट में जाकर दस रुपए की आप फिर से ला सकते हैं तो वो उसका रिप्लेसमेंट कॉस्ट कहलाते हैं ओके ये चीजें याद रखेंगे अपने पास आपको ये नोट्स टेलीग्राम पर मिल जाएंगे तो नोट डाउन करने की जरूरत नहीं है समझने पर ध्यान दें ओके गुड मोरोगम इट इज आई एस टू वेरी गुड नेक्स्ट कस्टमर स्पेसिफिक इन्वेंट्री ये क्या होता है आप बुटीक पर जाकर अपना लहंगा बनवाते हैं you go for boutiques and get your suits and lehengas designed okay this is customer specific inventory that is customized as per particular customer demands okay unhone bola aisa karna aisa karna aisa karna unke specification ke hisab se banaya okay so this will be uh, sold out to that particular customer itself aisa nahi hai ki sale par hai jo aayega wo le jayega okay are you clear so customer specific inventory ek specific customer ke hisab se banti hai उस स्पेसिफिक कस्टमर को सेल सेल करी जाती है ओके okay, गुड अब सिंस अगर वो कस्टमर कैसा हो गया बैंक हो गया उसके पास पैसे नहीं बचे वो या वो लेने नहीं आ रहा तो ऐसा माना जाता है कि आप इसको और कुछ पे सेल नहीं कर सकते अगर सेल नहीं कर सकते तो ये कस्टमर स्पेसिफिक इन्वेंट्री है जो कस्टमर के हिसाब से बनाई गई है अगर वो लेने नहीं आ रहा तो आपके लिए क्या है आपके लिए वो खराब हो गई आपके लिए वो पैसा वेस्ट हो गया फेल हो गया पैसा ओके okay? तो यहाँ पर कहा जाता है कॉस्ट पर करना रिकॉर्ड रिकॉर्ड एंड कॉस्ट इफ द कस्टमर इज फाइनेंशियली फिट इफ इट इज एबल टू रीपे यू एंड विल बी एबल इज इन फाइनेंशियली गुड पोजिशन टू हैव दैट कस्टमर स्पेसिफिक इन्वेंट्री टू बाय दैट कस्टमर स्पेसिफिक इन्वेंट्री दैट ही आस्ट फॉर ओके इफ इज फाइनेंशियली फिट ओके रिकॉर्ड इट एट कॉस्ट इन केस इफ दैट कस्टमर हु हैज डिमांडेड द स्पेसिफिकेशन एंड हैज गॉन बैंक करप्ट is in liquidity crisis does not have cash flow in the in that case it is highly probable that he will not be purchasing that customer specific inventory that he has asked that he has demanded to be created uh, on his demand okay so since he will not be buying it from you you will have to record the same as zero okay great are you clear so we have talked about four things uh, if you talk about finished goods it is compared with cost and nrv whichever is lesser you record at that value in the balance sheet secondly if we talk about wic it is similarly calculated as per the finished goods okay the calculation part we'll deal in the later part of the video thirdly we'll talk about raw material its uh, recording of the value in the balance sheet is dependent upon completely dependent upon finished goods okay if finished goods valued at cost then raw material also valued at cost in case the finished goods are valued at net realizable value then the raw material is also valued at replacement value okay next customer specific inventory if the it is dependent upon if the customer is financially fit or not if yes then record it at the cost if not then you have to record it at value zero okay are you clear with the reasons as well anybody else anything other than this coming in the head to ask anything that you want to ask ask simultaneously i'll try to answer okay all about marathon all the other indias 
we'll be talking about in the end of this video okay just talk about this particular index itself okay focus on this itself next we'll talk about the valuation basis we'll qu quickly revise these uh, basic concepts and then we'll head towards icai question answers okay and you'll be solving along with me so make sure you are having your icai module and a uh, copy pen okay so as to write down things next comes valuation of empty bottles okay this is a very good example this particular basic has been taken from an example which is very famous okay it is said that the empty bottles is inventory is a part of inventory but it is recorded at a nominal value that means it is recorded at just rupees 1 or 10 okay you do not do any sort of valuation of such uh, inventory okay is of such empty bottles next valuation of scrap valued at nrv that is net realizable value the amount that you will be getting by selling this particular scrap okay that amount is considered at which this particular uh, scrap will be recorded okay this means yes 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 guru data it will take two hours maybe even later than that i am not bounding you in any uh, hour okay that i am not committing i'll be completing it in one hour or five hours okay it is just a flow if you have multiple questions it might take a longer time if you are uh, if you have lesser questions then maybe it will finish a little in let in little lesser time okay so i'm not bounding you not either you on neither me in time duration okay i want to go through a flow that's why i've kept it on weekend so that you have spare time if you are interested then you are able to continue with this marathon okay with this revision but i guarantee you if you stay <laughs> okay guru data if you stay till the end of this marathon then you'll be able to complete one full unit with all the question answers with concept clear okay and i guarantee this chalo next uh, we come towards inventory under forward contract okay what is it any inventory that is done on forward contract that is uh, an assignment has been given and it will be taken it will be received on some future date okay it will be received on some future date then uh, it might be a year ahead okay so you have to take the uh, criteria of time value in pricing it okay so you have to take either the cost or the forward price at which the deal has been done uh, you if you study this uh, fm sfm okay there you have done forward contracting what is it it is dealt at some other day at some other price okay there is on spot and there is forward okay so inventory under forward contract either cost or forward price whichever is lower will be recorded as the price of such inventory next comes inventory out of use any inventory that is slow moving or non moving okay so generally what happens is you create a provision for that slow moving and now if it is uh, slow moving non moving that means it is not getting sold out since 2 3 5 8 years it has been kept like that only and it is not getting sold out okay such type of inventory is valued at nrv is valued at nrv this is net realizable value how it will be calculated we'll study in this video itself okay but we you have to keep in mind that any type of inventory that is not being used that is slow moving will be recorded at nrv okay so you are clear about these four items and these other four items okay next we'll talk about what is nrv and how it is calculated okay simply cost and nrv of each item shall be considered separately except when inventory is similar or interchangeable it is said that it might be that you have 10 types of item in your whole inventory it might be there are 10 more items okay there are list of 50 items it can be now you have to value each and every item separately each and inventory cost and nrv will be calculated and will be compared separately for each and every item are you clear with this 
unless and until those inventory are very much similar are identical are interchangeable for example if i talk about three types of pen okay for example there are three sorry 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 okay there are three types of pen in my hand okay so these are three types of inventory it is said that the general rule says that the cost and nrv of each and every pen will be calculated separately and will be uh, compared separately okay great but in case for example you have identical pen okay there are a bundle of 100 uh, pens which are identical to each other then it is said that you can do the valuation you can do the costing and nrv comparison for all the 100 pens in one go okay are you clear then it does not need to be done separately so cost and nrv of each item shall be considered separately except when inventory is of similar or interchangeable nature okay next nrv is calculated if any of the following condition exists in case see it is going cancer okay so value at cost or nrv which is lower but in case such conditions arise then you have to always value at nrv okay you do not have to calculate cost and then compare good what are those for example it creates there is a physical damage to that inventory then it will not be sold in a regular condition okay on regular terms and conditions are you clear on regular uh, prices so you have to value it at net realizable value next slow moving inventory as i talked about just in the previous slide that inventory that is out of use non moving or slow moving will always be valued at nrv supporting to that okay there is slow moving in inventory you will be valuing it at nrv that is net realizable value next comes increasing cost of production there is higher increase in production okay then there is lesser margins if yes then you will be calculating it at it at net realizable value next decreasing selling selling price in both the cases your profits are getting lesser profit margins are getting lesser in this case also you will be recording it at net realizable value okay now if we talk about nrv of wip that means net realizable value of work in progress this is very important how come because there is an additional point which needs to be added so as to reach out to the correct okay notes will be added to the telegram channel after this marathon okay you guys oh okay so you'll be taking the selling price of the finished goods because the selling price of wip is not available in the market see carefully listen the selling price of wip is not available in the market because half half made product is not sold in the market okay so you do you will not be having any mrp or the selling price in the market of the market okay so what you can do is the available information is selling price of the finished goods so you will take that amount selling price of the finished goods okay you will less the conversion cost of wip to finished goods any amount for example the wip that is work in progress is finished 60% okay for example it is of 10000 rupees worth the finished goods cost and the wip is finished 60% that is 6000 cost has already been incurred but 40% work is still remaining so as to complete this wip to finished goods okay now in this case since 40% is remaining you will be deducting that 40% cost from this finished goods selling price okay and then the amount that you get will be considered as the net realizable value of the wip yes 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 yogesh are you clear the notes will be provided on the telegram channel will be uploaded on the telegram channel after this uh, marathon okay after an hour of this marathon we'll edit the notes and then upload it in the pdf format okay it will be available with question answers so don't worry just focus on understanding what i'm trying to tell you are you clear with this nrv wip till now any doubt please write in the chat clear 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 if it is clear in your head okay i'm waiting for a minute i want answers from 
the viewers that if it is clear please write clear so that so that i am uh, fine that i have done good and we can continue on the same pace further Murugam, VM, Anandhu, Yogesh, Prerna, Guru Dutta. Satyanarayana, are you still in the class? Uh, Guru Dutta, please uh, specify what is not clear. Any one topic? any one certain portion or entirely it is not clear it's my bad if it's entirely not clear really sorry what isn't clear please specify the specific portion i'll try to clear it right now itself and please specify if you want it in hindi and if there if there is a language issue or simply main fir bhi bata deti hu wip ka jo agar recent wala hai ab wip ki selling price to bahar available nahi hoti okay good good theek hai ye samjha deti hu agar wip work in progress hai matlab aadha adhura bana hua hai okay ab since aadha adhura bana hua hai to ye market mein to bikta hai nahi अगर मार्केट में बिकता नहीं है मार्केट में सेलेबल नहीं है तो आपको मार्केट प्राइस नहीं मिलेगी ओके तो हम बोल रहे हैं अगर डब्ल्यू की मार्केट प्राइस नहीं पता तो आप इसकी एन कैसे निकालोगे तो आप क्या कहते हैं हम कहते हैं कि अरे यार डब्ल्यू की नहीं पता फिनिश गुड्स की तो पता है ना तो आप फिनिश गुड्स की प्राइस ले लो ओके इसमें से माइनस कर दो अगर जो भी और कॉस्ट लगनी बाकी है मान लो हमने बोला दस का है है ना कॉस्ट है If we calculate NRV for WIP, my profit will increase. No, no, it will not. It will not increase because we are adding the remaining cost. देखो, अगर हम क्या करते ना, if WIP is of six thousand, okay, because it is sixty percent complete. WIP is of six thousand cost. and it is 60% complete okay still 4000 of the cost needs to already incurred cost have already been taken okay so 6000 cost have already been taken and your 4000 is also deducted okay gurudatta and murugam uh, please write yes if it's clear If not, then please specify what is what isn't. Yogesh, any other doubt related to the topic? I'm very happy that you people joined. good okay great okay we'll head towards the cost of inventory how we take down the costing of the raw material okay so if it is based it is completely based on dependent on finished goods no 40% is just an example okay as we have asked this 40% okay is just an example okay it's just an example it is just an example okay so don't take it as a standard rule yes 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 on the basis of material consumption labor consumption okay so for example on an average the costing is taken 10000 okay of the finished goods and we see that okay 60% of the cost has already been incurred so we consider that wip 60% complete 
Okay, next. Okay, generally the amount, uh, the costing is taken as per material, raw material, labor plus the overheads and the other cost. Okay, now very important, very important, please put your focus over here. Okay, be focused over here. We say that we'll take the purchase price. Okay, the price at which you have purchased. Okay, for example, you have purchased at rupees uh, 100 plus for example GST at the rate 12% uh, okay that is 12 rupees that means you have paid you have paid rupees 112 okay for this is all example okay just to give you a view so this is the price 100 base price then you have, to, you have been charged GST 12% and then you have paid rupees 112 okay in this case so it is said that while calculating the cost of raw material okay while calculating the cost of raw material what you do is you you calculate the purchase price paid this means rupees 112 you'll be taking 112 into account for calculating the price but in case if the taxes that you have paid is refundable okay will be returned to you back or you will be able to claim it as as input tax credit further okay you'll be getting any benefit you'll be refunded with the uh, that particular tax then that amount is not included in the purchase price paid okay so now the question arises do you have to take 112 as the cost or you have to take just 100 as the cost okay are you clear so what you need to do you have to check whether this particular GST whether whether this particular GST okay is refundable is refundable or not refundable okay are you able to get this okay so the price you paid uh, the price was 100 you paid GST 12 rupees so the total amount that you paid was 112 now the question arises is whether you have to take 100 or 112 so it is dependent upon that whether the taxes that you have paid are refundable or not if refundable then you will take your cost as rupees 100. If it is not refundable and it is a, a price that you have paid out of your pocket, it is not refundable, okay, you will not be able to claim ITC, input tax credit. Then you have to record it at cost 112. Are you clear? For the import of raw material, if we have paid any additional interest, demerit penalty, okay. See this additional interest penalty is abnormal amount okay and it is directly taken to the PNL. Great. We are just talking about the regular taxes that you have paid as a normal buyer. Okay. We are talking about just the uh, regular taxes. These additional prices, we are just talking about the taxes. Okay. Next, any non-refundable tax, if you have paid, will be added. Carriage and freight, buying carriage and freight and not selling. Okay, we are talking about just the carriage and freight and the transportation price that you have paid for the purchase will be included. The clearing agent, agent charges, that is only for the purchase and putting it uh, for the uh, to the warehouse. Okay, these are not related at all to the selling one. It will be added and then the amount that you get will be treated as the cost of the raw material. Murugam, have you got your answers? You are talking about just the taxes right now. These additional charges, interest, demerit penalties are all abnormal expenses. Okay. And these are generally taken to the p and directly because these are incurred once in a while. Okay. Now, important things that you need to keep in mind are 
because the questions also are there in ICI module related to this. Trade discount, trade discount or cash discount में difference पता है? Cash discount तब मिलता है जब आप final cash settlement करते हैं. Trade discount is a discount that is given on bulk orders, okay, at the time of deal itself, okay, not at the time of payment. So trade discount is considered as a past as a part of the cost and is therefore deducted from the cost, okay. Trade discount is adjusted in the purchase price. If any trade discount is there, it will be deducted from this cost, okay. If cash discount is there, it will be directly transferred to the P&L and, and it will not be adjusted in the cost. Good, good, okay. Watchman salary, warehouse rent and similar expenses like other I told, okay. These all are transferred to the P&L. So you have to keep in mind trade discount, that is discount given on the deal, on the bulk trades, okay. At the time of the deal, will be deducted from the cost. And in case if there is a cash discount, it will not be deducted from the cost, okay. So there is a question, we will be uh, solving it in this lecture itself, okay. Next any labor cost, it is taken on actual basis, very important. Highlight this, keep in mind, any labor cost is there, any overheads are there, we, are, we will always take it on actual basis, unless it is over and above, okay, the normal production. It will always be taken on actual basis. Next, overheads, if it is variable, it is taken on actual basis. If it is fixed overhead, then two things come. It is always taken on normal capacity basis, okay. If it is more than, if the actual production is more than normal, very important. If actual production is more than normal, then allocation is based on actual production. It is always done on normal capacity. In case, if you have produced more than the normal capacity. For example, the normal capacity of, was of 1000 units, but you have produced uh, 1100 units, okay. So 100 units are more than the normal capacity. In this only particular case, you will be calculating the overheads, the fixed overheads on the basis of actual that is 1100 units. Are you clear? In case of under production or normal production, See, if you are paying any sort of duty, anti-dumping duty or anything else, if it is refundable or not, if it is refundable, the taxes, the duties that you are paying and if it is refundable, we will not consider it as a part of the cost. In case if it is refundable, we will be claiming a refund further, then you will be uh, not, if it is refundable, then you will not be considering in the part of the cost, but such anti-dumping duty, if not refundable. Okay, you will not be claiming any sort of refunds and credits in the future, then you will consider it as a part of the cost, you will add it in the part of, part of the cost. Okay. Sometimes these duties are charged and are on, uh, on completion and on satisfaction, uh, on satisfaction of the particular uh, criteria and the conditions that they put in. Okay, and if you satisfy those, then you are given refund of those taxes and duties okay great so for example uh, okay there is an example in the ICI module we will do it over there other cost specific design and specification is always added in the cost of the inventory selling and distribution expenses abnormal losses refundable taxes and borrowing cost these all are considered and transferred to PNL and not considered as part of the uh, inventory. Good, good. Now, we, if we talk about packing material, okay, so there is primary packaging and secondary packaging. Take an example of a toothpaste, very good example, okay. So, if we talk about a toothpaste that you purchase, okay, it comes in a tube and then there is another level of cardboard packaging, okay. Now the tube is known as primary packaging and the cardboard cover additional to after put in after the tube is known as secondary packaging, okay. Now the primary packaging, the tube will be considered as part of the cost of inventory. And secondary packaging 
will not be considered in inventory and will be transferred to PNL directly. Okay, are you clear? Because this is necessary. If the tube is not there, then it will it won't be possible to pack and transport that particular uh, toothpaste. Okay, that particular material. So primary is considered as mandatory, necessary, and therefore considered as part of the cost. Whereas secondary packaging is not considered as part of inventory and is therefore transferred to the PNL. Next, deferred taxes, deferred payment inventory. Inventory is recorded as cash price equivalent. Very important. For example, you purchased anything. For example, car. Okay. And the price is 9 lakhs. Okay. For example. But you have taken it on EMIs and all. Okay. And figuring out after calculating all the amounts and the deferment of the payments that you will be making. Okay. Because you do not have to make entire payment on spot. So this facility, okay, because of this facility, because of this feasibility, what you need to do, uh, what you will have to pay, the final price will be approximately, for example, it will be approximately 15 lakhs. Are you clear? With all interest and EMIs over the years that you will be making. And why it is being done? Because of the deferment. Are you clear? Now the difference between this is interest is entirely purely interest are you clear so it is said that the cost of the inventory if you are uh, choosing deferment okay then the cost of the inventory will be taken at price 9 lakh at the cost itself at the cash price this price is known as cash price okay and the difference amount that is here 6 lakh will be transferred to PNL that is 6 lakhs Okay, are you clear? Yes, fixed overhead have to be allocated towards each unit. Okay, fixed overheads are since fixed, but they have to be divided with the normal capacity output. And then the amount that comes will be added to the cost of each and every unit. Are you clear? They need to be allocated. Guru Dutta, fixed overhead had to be calculated and allocated towards each and every unit okay because these cannot be identified uh, separately are you clear with this deferment payment inventory even there is one more question in ICI which uh, which is just targeting this cash price are you clear good right go ahead or clear in the chat so that we can move further anybody else who is watching in and has any sort of doubt i can see murugam and gurudatta active yogesh any problem anybody else who is watching in please write we are here something in the chat so that i can see if you are there or not yogesh bm continue further next joint product very important even there is a question for the same as well okay uh, see there is an input process and there are outputs okay so there are multiple outputs that are main output that you are targeting to make okay and there might be a byproduct what is byproduct anybody anybody in in the viewers can uh, answer what is byproduct Anybody? Take a chance. Try once. Good, good, good. Uh, it's clear. Good to know this. What is byproduct? Please try to answer once. What is byproduct? Okay, 
byproduct is an item that is created okay uh, effortlessly that means you are put in effort okay to and you were intended to make the main products the product that has been created as a uh, part of the process as a result of the process and you have not intended you have not put in efforts to make that is known as by product okay a very good example is sugar industry okay the sugar that is created okay this is the main product that was intended and the, all the process and the efforts were put in to create sugar okay now there is a by product supporting the main product you can say no not supporting the main product which is not our main product okay, okay. so here by creating the sugar uh, all the efforts and processes are put in to create the sugar okay so the sugar is main product but there creates a by product the the process is is such a time that it create creates molasses okay the molasses the remains are also very useful they are saleable okay they have a very rich amount of uh, selling okay uh, high price at which it can be sold these molasses are by product these are created effortlessly it's it is because of the result of the process and there has not been put in any sort of uh, extra efforts okay to make that particular product that is by product okay good it is produced as a part of the process as a result of the process while creating the main product okay good quite close so it is said that if there is a by product and it is material okay it is very important then this is recorded separately if it is not material that means it is not impacting the uh, decision making of the view, uh, user of the financial statement okay then it is said immaterial and in that case it is recorded then realizable value of the by product is deducted from actual production okay now since the by product is the bonus are you clear you were making efforts for the salary but the bonus is the perks that you were not intending for so even the by product is like a bonus and the main products are like salaries okay so you were making efforts you were doing all the processes all the uh, required inputs were given for the main product for the main salary and the bonuses are just the perks that have that are part of the that are result of the process are you clear so by product is as a pro, as a bonus we have gotten so what you can do is either record it separately as inventory if it is immaterial then what you can do is any amount that you receive from this will be deducted from the costing of this uh, main products are you clear so if immaterial then realizable value that is nrv net realizable value will be deducted from the cost of the main products from the cost of the actual products are you clear realization of scrap is deducted from the total production any scrap that you are getting in okay any amount that you are uh, getting in by selling the scrap is deducted from total production okay so for example the main products are the cost of the main product is for example uh 10 lakhs 20 lakhs and the by product is just 50000 okay for example this is all example to be clear so what we'll do since this 50000 is not a great amount not a material amount regarding to this 30 lakh okay in comparison to this then what you can do is you can simply deduct it okay from this by product now any scrap if yes any scrap any amount that you are receiving from this okay you will be uh, doing it uh, even you will be deducting that amount for example after selling scrap you got 2000 rupees okay so this all are bonuses these all are extra amounts and it will be deducted from the cost of total production okay so 30 lakh minus 70000 okay so this is this becomes 29 lakh 30000 are you clear this will be the cost of the inventory next any doubt then please uh, write it simultaneously i'll try to answer along with next net realizable value normally what is it the selling price minus any amount that will be 
incurred on making that particular sale happen okay estimated selling cost any brokerage any commission any ads and all okay these are estimated selling price these are deducted and then you get an rv that is net realizable value decrease in inventory due to nrv valuation is an exceptional item nrv must be reassessed at each balance sheet date that means net realizable value will be calculated and compared with cost at each balance sheet date if nrv increases then reversal can be made but cannot be made exceeding the actual cost very good we'll read it with an example and a chart see for example very good these are different different example 2 3 4 read it column wise one by one for example on 31st march 2020 the cost was 1 lakh rupees net realizable value since you have to cal calculate at every balance sheet date you have calculated it is 80000 you have compared both of both of them whichever is lower you have calculated as your valuation your amount of inventory in the balance sheet okay and the remaining amount the difference amount is charged to pnl okay so 20000 has been charged to pnl next on 31st march 2021 the cost is 1 lakh the nrv is 70000 okay you have again calculated nrv because you have to calculate it at every balance sheet date okay now you have compared again whichever is lower now 70000 was lower so you have valued your finished goods at the valuation 70000 good you have again valued whichever is lower so again 10000 difference you have debited into the pnl now the pnl is 30000 down okay now in the upcoming next year you calculated your nrv again why because you have to calculate it on every balance sheet date okay so now you compared this whichever is lower you calculated 95000 okay whichever is lower now for this you have to make an increment in the pnl you have to credit this with 25000 okay now in the next upcoming year you again calculated your nrv and it is more than cost you have to calculate it at whichever is lower so you did it at 1 lakh so only increment of 5000 will be done it will not be increased up to 15000 that means you will not be increasing minus 95000 okay 15000 this is wrong okay you will only be increasing your value of inventory into the pnl only up to the cost up to the cost and you will not increase more than cost okay next please write clear in the inventory uh, clear in the chat box chat box we'll head ahead then we'll go ahead Okay, we are just about to clear. We are about to end this uh, notes part. We'll head towards ICI question answers. Next, there are different cost formulas. If those are, we have studied this also, if we are charging to P and L, what will be JV P and L? journal entry pnl explain if you are charging to pnl see you have reduced the cost of inventory and you are charging it to pnl then pl debit pl debit to inventory so inventory will be reduced by 20000 and pnl will be debited by 20000 now if you talk about cost formula it has to be calculated for each and every item separately okay unless and until those are very identical and similar items okay as we took an example of pens okay similar and inter interchangeable units that is identical units if yes 
if they, those are identical units then you can choose either historical approach or non historical for historical you take fifo or weighted average okay we'll take examples of both fifo and weighted average in the icai uh, module okay non historical you have to take either retail inventory that is selling price minus gross margin equal to cost that means for example you are selling it for 100 rupees and you have a margin of 10 rupees then your costing is 90 100 minus 90 okay you have to record it at cost by uh, selling by calculating selling price minus the gross margins and standard costing okay uh, the amount that is being put in set as standard and you compare and then calculate variances okay if they, those are of not similar nature if those are not interchangeable okay those are very uh, different from each other independent it is specific identification method and each item needs to be calculated and uh, valued separately okay for for example a very good example is gold jewelry every gold jewelry has different design different pattern different grams and milligrams different consistency different okay then it needs to be valued separately it needs to be calculated separately okay lastly we'll talk about what are the disclosure requirements about this indias okay simply accounting policy for the cost formulation and option carrying amount of inventory we normally talk finished goods wip raw material stock in trade and loose tools these all are the points that need to be shown in the uh, notes to account okay and show the calculation and then this amount is shown in balance sheet okay now inventory held as pledged security what is pledge and what is mortgage can you tell the difference between pledge and mort mortgage anybody anybody who can tell the difference between pledge and mortgage i'm waiting for the answer if yes okay so let me tell pledge is uh, these are both things that are put as security okay now if you are putting immovable property like land building and all okay then this is known as mortgage if you are putting mo movable property like jewelry okay like inventory then those are known as pledge okay so it is said that if you have put in any inventory as pledge as hypothecation okay uh, for any purposes then you have to note this you have to put it as a note in the disclosure part you have to make a note that these particular inventories are put as pledge security against which you might have borrowed something or taken any loan credit inventory is at nrv which of the inventories are valued at nr other required disclosures any other important information that you think is very much uh, important to be shown regarding to this particular inventory okay now there are no curves no differences uh, between ias and indias now i'll give you quick half minute break and i'll advise you i am requ requesting you okay what mortgage with bank uh, i'm requesting you to please open your icai module okay and uh, simultaneously have a pen or pencil and try to solve it along with me okay so please take out your icai module and refer along with me it will give you a great confidence and clearance okay anybody in case you do not have icai module what you can do is you can definitely go to uh, icai website okay and there from there you can download
I'm just opening the ICI module. Okay, you also get it ready. It is chapter number seven, unit number one. It is your chapter number seven, unit number one. Okay. Those tools are just like spare parts and not spare parts. Those tools are spare parts and not. Spare parts. For example, you have big big machines and you have, you have put in any screwdrivers and multiple other small equipments. Yes, yes, yes. We'll be getting access to questions. Yes, Guru Dutt. See, we have we have courses on our app that is stay ahead okay from there what you can do is you can simply download the app we'll give the link it the link is given in the description box as well okay if you want the link I can even give in the chat as well okay so follow our telegram channel there you'll get the notes and other details as well See, there is a course given like this. You have record. You have. You will get the recorded lectures of the fresh batch, the latest batch. Your there is whole ICS syllabus, the Indias that we have covered. All the Indias have been listed. It has been uh, sequenced as per the ICAI module. Okay, and here in the contrast to this, in the in front of this, you can see if the notes are available or not. How many number of lectures that are available? Okay, and the duration, for example, for India's framework, there is PDF available. Uh, like number of lectures are three. Hi, Gopi. And duration is two, two hours, 42 minutes. Okay, in, in such a way, you can see that we have covered all the 17 chapters. The lecture, 80 lectures are there and it is approximately 55 hours. Okay, similarly, there is a course in Hindi where we have similar but a little change is there. The sequence is same and all but the duration and the lecture number differences are there. Okay, so if you are interested in the course, please write interested over here and follow our telegram channel. Download the app. It is stay ahead from Swart, uh, stay ahead on the Play Store and on App Store it is with Class Plus. Spare parts are valued at cost. Okay, spare parts are valued at cost. Okay. This is the index that, that is shared with the uh, lectures as well, in the course as well. Okay, so in the course we have, yes, 39. Actively, they, those are 39. 39 standards are there. We have covered the live number of lectures, those are there and the amount of duration. 
and these all contains along with the examples and question answers okay so for hindi it is approximately 74 lectures and 81 hours and in Hind and in english it is a in those are 80 lectures and 55 hours 80 lectures number of lectures are 80 and the duration is different for each because for covering each of the topics see uh, we have covered as per the ICI module so for considering this one in days there are multiple we have made so many videos so as to make in different different parts time uh, for Hindi it is let me check for English it is 55 hours and for Hindi it is 81 hours Uh, this is recorded lecture okay this course is available in recorded lectures and the validity is 15 months okay the validity of the course is 15 months the number of views are unlimited you can view it 100 times you can share it with your friends as well it can be viewed on laptop as well as mobile phones okay you will have to uh, log in with your one number and you'll get your credentials and OTP okay just have to put in your number and OTP and you'll be logged in What is the time for Hindi and English? See, I have told you the time. For tomorrow's marathon, it is 10 a.m. These are recorded lectures. You can view it at your flexibility. You can view it in the morning, evening. It will be uh, given to you as a whole one batch okay together all together you can view, view it at your pace at your feasible and uh, suitable timings even it can be viewed at 1.5 2x in case if you are able to uh, get something very quicker or you're finding my pace a little all lectures have been it is the recorded lecture of the latest batch you can ask questions over there Okay, we'll head towards the question answer part. These all lectures are live but have been recorded as well. So you will be provided with the recorded portion. There is a chat box given with the recorded lectures as well. Similarly, as you're typing over here, you can type over there. Other than that, uh, everybody who enrolls, all the students who enroll for the course are given my personal WhatsApp number as well where they can put in the voice note as well as the chat and ask questions and we reply it ASAP like as soon as possible and even in the course even in the app there is a chat box given similar to the way we are conducting right now in a similar way okay so any doubts regarding the course Gopi, any other question? So we'll head towards the question answer part. Okay. Make sure you're having your ICI module along with. Other than that, the notes and the ICI question part also will be given to you on the Telegram channel. Tomorrow for the tomorrow's in days, it is in day 16, property plant and equipment. Questions are also there, dear. And you can ask me question the way you are asking here. There is a chat box given over there as well. And we answer it. Okay. Hmm. 
good good great 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 okay so chapter number 7 unit number 1 indian accounting standard 2 okay we'll start with we'll ignore all the other things and we'll only head towards the example parts because all the things other i have covered in the uh, notes portion okay so please come to page number 4 okay or you can say page number 7.4 good guru that good okay 7.4 illustration number 1 okay so you will be actively answering all the questions okay and then i'll be making sure that you have answered right illustration number 1 we'll try to make it two way communication okay so it is good for you and me as well okay i'll get to know whether you are understanding or not so illustration number 1 page number 7.4 As per India's two inventories include materials and supplies, awaiting use in the production process. Awaiting use means those are kept as raw material. Awaiting use, not yet used. Whether packing material and publicity material are covered by the terms materials and supply, awaiting use in the production process. So, if we have talked about packing material, okay. So you have to generally check whether it is primary. or secondary you have to check whether the material is packing material is primary or secondary if it's primary what we need to do whether include in cost or not please answer and the publicity material you have to answer three things in this publicity material okay you have to answer three things okay for the primary material do we include in the cost of raw material do we include in the inventory yes very good primary material is included in the cost included in the cost secondary material very good gopi not included and what about publicity material this is for sales purpose and the cost that you are incurring for the sales is also not included very good very good okay are you clear good read the solution once next we'll head towards example number 1 example number 1 says say that an entity holds inventory 10000 units and sell them at a market price of 10 each okay so this basic 10 rupees is your selling value sale price okay the entity has an order in hand to sell the inventories at rupees 11 so your selling price is 11 and your 10 rupees is the fair value okay fair value equals to 10 and your selling price is rupees 11 because you sell inventories at 11 the incremental selling cost per unit is 0.5 per unit in this situation the nrv will be how come the nrv will be calculated publicity not clear publicity is for uh, selling purpose sales and advertisement and this is not considered as part of cost okay nrv so you'll be taking selling price that is 11 okay any selling cost that is 0.5 so here your nrv becomes is 10.5 so you clear see this is the amount that you will get from selling this is selling price minus 
selling cost that will be incurred in selling that amount. So the incremental cost is 0.5. So this will be deducted and that and then you'll get NRV that is 10.5 rupees. Okay, so similarly it is given that your fair value is 10 over here, but still your NRV can be different from face, uh, fair value. Okay, important here is the difference between NRV and fair value. Okay, now importantly, the fair value as per India S. Jaldi se batao, quickly batao ki India S konsa lagta hai fair value pe. Fair valuation jab aap padhte hai. What is the India S? Which number is the India S that is applicable on fair valuation? Which India S is related to fair valuation? It is 113. So as per 113, it says orderly transaction, price at which orderly transaction to sell the same inventory is in the principal market for the inventory would take place between market participant at the measure, measurement date. Okay. So it is all market based, whereas net realizable value, the value that you will receive on selling is entity based, is entity specific. That means entity will be calculating what particular price will be will that particular entity be getting by selling this particular uh, item okay and fair value is the amount that is generally being collected generally being charged in the market so fair value is market based approach whereas net realizable value is entity specific it differs from one entity to another are you clear gopi very good Next, okay, so here uh, talking about trade discount, trade discount and cash discount, okay, so as you know, trade discount is considered okay is deducted from the cost whereas if we talk about cash discount it is ignored and not deducted from the uh, cost okay you know this read this once abc limited buys goods Okay, ABC Limited buys good from an overseas supplier. It has recently taken delivery of 1000 units of component X. So they have 1000 units. The quoted price of the component X was 1200 per unit, but ABC has negotiated trade discount. So this 1200 minus 5%. Okay, why? Because we deduct trade discount from the cost. Okay, due to the size of the order, the supplier offers an early settlement discount. This is cash discount. This is your cash discount. Isn't it? If it's a cash discount, it won't be deducted from the cost for the payment within 30 days. And ABC Limited intends to achieve this. Import, import duties, basic custom duty, rupees 60 per unit. So we know that the duties, the taxes that you pay are added to the cost of the inventory if those are non-refundable. If those are refundable, then you do not include. Okay. So since your import duty, basic custom duty must be paid before the goods are released through custom and it is not said that this particular basic custom duty is refundable. Okay. If it is not said, then it will be considered that those are non-refundable. If non-refundable, then this will also be added. Once the goods are released through customs, ABC Limited may pay a delivery cost of rupees 5000 to have the components to its warehouse. We know that all the carriage and freight, okay, for buying purpose are included in the cost. For selling purpose are not included in the cost. Are you clear? Good. See, so this means 1200 minus 5%, you'll be ignoring the cash discount. You'll be adding this custom duty. 
okay taxes and you will be adding this 5000 freight and carriage you can say transportation transportation for purchase is included are you clear please calculate and tell me the amount please calculate and tell me the amount what is the amount and multiply it with 1000 units okay and tell me the cost of the inventory that you will be recording see 1200 minus 5% into 1000 units 60 rupees per unit is the custom duty transportation added and that's how it becomes 12,000 12 lakh 5,000 okay next example number two as you know the overheads are charged on actual capacity okay in case if the fixed overheads are uh, norm, it is charged on normal capacity okay in case if it is more than normal capacity if the production is more than uh, normal capacity then it is charged on actual capacity okay so here Pluto Limiters has a plant which has normal capacity to produce 5 lakh units of a product per annum okay so the normal capacity is 5 lakh units and the expected fixed overheads are 15 lakh Fixed overheads on the basis of normal capacity is 3 per unit that is 15 lakh divided by 5 lakh. Okay, great. No doubt till, till here. Now it is said that. Now it is said that. Case 1. Actual production is 5 lakh units. Okay. This means it is equal to normal capacity and therefore uh, rupees will be charged as 3 itself okay on the normal capacity in case 2 the actual production is lesser than the normal production normal production is normal capacity is 5 lakh but you have under produced so what you will be doing you will be dividing it with the normal amount but you will be charging it on the normal capacity itself okay so this means 15 lakh divided by 3 lakh 75 units you get 4 rupees per unit now out of this 4 rupees, 3 rupees will be charged on normal capacity ok 3 rupees will be uh, charged at the inventory portion on the inventory and the extra 1 rupee will be transferred to PA are you clear why 4 rupees because here there is under production the units are lesser so each unit is getting more allocation fix over it question is not reply please ex is not clear please reply explain at the end it it is of only factory and not office okay fixed overheads are including the offices okay including the factory as well as uh, not the administration part only related to that factory portion okay fixed overheads are related to that factory portion only now the third case, uh, th case comes is that very important if there is over production that means the normal capacity is 5 lakh but you have over produced over created that is 7 lakh 50 thousand okay so now what you will be doing in case if you have overproduced, then you will be charging your uh, your charge. You will be charging on the actual capacity. Are you clear? Fixed overheads charged normally on normal capacity, but in case if it is there is more production than the normal capacity, then you will be charging on the actual basis. This we have studied in the notes part also. So here, since there is overproduction, you will be charging on the actual production basis okay actual basis if production is greater than normal capacity what you do 
you simply charge on actual basis next simple illustration number 3 a business plans for production overheads 10 lakh per annum the normal level of production is 1 lakh per uh, 1 lakh units per annum that is 10 lakh divided by 1 lakh this means rupees 1 rupees 10 sorry okay 10 lakh divided by 1 lakh rupees 10 okay because it is already normally charged on normal level uh, normal capacity due to supply difficulties the business was able to make 75000 only so you have produced lesser okay and units in the current year other cost per unit were 126 so you have 126 as your cost and 10 rupees as your allocated overhead under production how we have to charge see we have taken an example over here if there is under production what you do you charge on normal capacity to the inventory portion and the remaining extra that has been allocated because of the under production because of the inefficiency that you charge to pnb okay so this means normally 15 lakh was your amount divided by the number of production of the units actual okay you get an answer of 4 so out of this okay see you charge on normal in case of under production you charge on normal capacity in case of under production the fixed overheads are charged on normal capacity the any extra amount that has been allocated in case then it will be diverted towards pnb okay because see there has been an expense of 15 lakh rupees there has been an expense of 15 lakh rupees okay now what you do you charge this to pn uh, to inventory and you charge this portion to your pl you are charging it at normal capacity okay normal capacity so the whole amount 15 lakh will be charged but it will be charged in two portions are you clear please read this therefore it is advisable to include fixed overheads per unit on normal capacity to actual capacity production okay so whole 15 lakh will be charged next okay so the cost will be 126 plus the allocated overheads rupees 10 now here also same question try to understand it there has been an expense of 10 lakh this will be charged to inventory okay and this remaining portion will be charged to pnl okay so there has been an expense of 10 lakh how to bifurcate the amount that has been absorbed on the actual production will be taken into inventory and the above portion will be charged to pnl okay next conversion cost illustration number 4 so there abc limited manufactures control units of, for ac air conditioning systems each control units requires the following one component of x and one component of y cost is 1205 and 800 okay and the sundry raw material is 150 so these are the cost part add these and one each so you do not need to multiply as well okay so add these as a cost of raw material now these are monthly expenses this means these are fixed overhead fixed overhead okay fixed overheads factory rent 16500 energy cost that is electricity and all 7500 okay selling and distribution uh, selling and administrative cost that is 10000 we'll entirely ignore this because we do not add any selling and administrative cost in the cost of the inventory now each unit takes 2 hours to assemble okay now fixed overheads will be divided on the normal capacity hours okay 2 hours and the production workers are paid rupees 300 per hour 
this means rupees 300 into 2 hours this means 600 rupees is the labor labor charges are see raw material is 1205 plus 800 plus 150 labor charges are 600 okay production overheads are absorbed into units of production using an hourly rate the normal level of production is 1000 hours okay so here fixed overheads that is 16,500 plus 7,500 divided by 1,000 hours. Okay. Anything that you get will be multiplied by 2 hours. Okay. Are you, get, are you getting this? Why we have divided 1,000 hours? Why we have divided 1,000 hours? Because this is the normal hours. So, fixed overhead, fixed overhead divided by normal capacity. Okay. Seventeen plus. is 240. Next. It's not 240. Next. Okay, so you have got material here from the question, you have got labor and you have got overhead and that is how the amount comes is the cost of inventory. Okay, next. Example it is given any uh, costing that has been incurred on the processes, that process is very important for the product to get finished and get in sellable condition. Then that cost of the process is also included in the cost of the inventory. Okay, so the production of whiskey involves the distilling of aged whiskey. So you have to keep it in some drums and all for a longer period. Okay, so that cost is the uh, of the process is the part of that particular goods to become finished goods and in, become in a saleable condition, and therefore that process cost is added into the cost of the inventory. Okay, next. Conversion cost. Illustration number 5. A dealer has purchased 1000 cars costing 2,80,000 each on deferment of payment. We have discussed this. We always calculate it on, we always calculate it on cash price basis. Okay, so the costing is 2,80,000. But you are paying installments, 12 equal installments of 25,000. So you are paying amount 25,000 into 12, that is 3 lakh. But the cost is, but the cash price is, cash price is how much? 2 lakh 80,000. Okay, you can say this. But so the difference amount is interest and that is rupees 20,000. Are you clear? Good. 1,000 cars are there. At the end of 31st March 2001, 20 cars are still in stock. That means you have sold 980. Okay, 20 cars are still in stock. So 20 cars will be recorded at cash price 2,80,000. What would be the cost of the goods? Finance cost that is interest and the inventory carrying amount. See, deferred amount payment is 25,000, this 3 lakh. Cash price is 2 lakh 80,000, that is costing. The difference amount is just because of the interest portion and this will be charged to PL part. Okay, so now the inventory remaining in the stock is. 
20 cars and you have to record it at cash price are you clear finance cost will be 1000 into 20 that is pl portion interest portion and the cost of goods sold will be 980 because out of 1000 cars only 20 are remaining that means 980 have already been sold please write in the comment section in the chat box clear then we'll move ahead write clear next illustration number six Venus trading company purchases cars from several countries and sell them to Asian countries during the year this company has incurred following expenses now trade discounts on purchase as you know we always include in the cost okay handling cost relating to the imports that means when you are paying these all charges for the purchase included salaries of accounting department not included because this is administrative part sales commission not included after sales not included import duties since it is not return over your refundable we are considering it as non refundable and hence we will include it in the cost of the inventory cost of purchases based on suppliers invoice yes included freight expenses we are considering it related to purchases included insurance of for purchase included brokerage commission paid to indenting agents agents that initiate this purchase okay not sale purchase included are you clear these all costs will be included we are not including the salary sales commission and after sales warranty because these all are related to sales and all and not the purchase of the uh, purchase and uh, of the uh, really related to the inventory portion okay next illustration number seven as per India's two selling costs are excluded from the cost of inventories and are required to be recognized as an expense of the period in which they these are incurred whether the distribution cost would now be included in the cost of inventories under India's two so it is said that selling and distribution are never included selling and distribution are never included okay in the cost of the inventory can we move ahead please write go ahead please write go ahead we'll head head again towards uh, rest of the portion we'll cover in case of any doubt please ask your doubt over here this session is conducted just to make you uh, have a two-way con conversation have a live class experience in case of any doubt please ask audio video clear illustration number eight okay great great illustration number eight in a manufacturing process of Mars limited one byproduct BP okay BP full uh, short form is there one byproduct BP emerges beside two main products MP1 main product 1 and main product 2 okay so when they are producing they have three products main product 1 main product 2 and byproduct BP apart from scrap also they are selling scrap okay so if it is material you will be recording it separately if not then you will be recording deducting the NRV from the cost of the main products okay detail of the cost of production process are here as under okay so we have raw material 14,500 units 150,000 is the price wages that is labor 90,000 fixed overhead 65,000 variable overhead 50,000 okay now you have three products that have been produced out of this particular process main product one and main product two and by product two uh, by product okay main product one is 5000 units produced main product two is 4000 units produced and by product is 2000 units produced okay and closing stock is remaining okay now you need to value the closing stock of main product one and main product two as on 31st March 
2001 or 21 whatever okay this means you have to consider this by product as immaterial you have to calculate it as immaterial okay and if you consider this as immaterial the nrv net realizable value of this by product will be deducted from the cost of mp1 and mp2 okay so you will be uh, calculating cost of mp1 you will be calculating cost of mp2 and then you will be deducting the nrv of by product from this main product cost okay average market price mp1 and mp2 is 60 and 50 okay so mp1 uh, market price is 60 and mp2 main product 2 market price is 50 respectively and by product can be sold at 20 so the selling price okay selling price of by product we are talking about by product selling price of by product is 20 okay and the by product is 2000 units 2000 units okay now there is a profit of 5000 on the sale of by product after incurring separate processing charges 8000 and packaging charges 2000 5000 was realized from the scrap okay this means they have incurred this is selling price selling cost is 8000 selling cost is 2000 they have incurred processing charges and packing charges okay these all are cost Uh, sorry 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 okay this is cost this is selling price minus cost minus cost okay was realized from scrap value so you will get a nrv after selling price uh, minus the selling cost you will get nrv calculate this once nrv you will get nrv of 30000 please calculate and confirm your nrv of by product why we are calculating nrv of by product because they are asking just to make the closing stock of main product 1 and main product 2 okay this means you are considering your by product as immaterial if you are considering your by product as immaterial you have to deduct the nrv from the cost of main product 1 and main product 2 okay in their selling ratio in their costing ratio sorry costing ratio okay let's see selling price of the by product is 20 per unit and 2000 units are there so 40000 minus the processing charges and the packing charges 8000 and 2000 the amount that you get an rv of by product is 30000 now if we talk about main product so main product costings are given here 150 90 65 50 okay the products price are given here so the product price you add over here and then you deduct the nrv of by product why by product because it is immaterial okay we have studied in the notes part if it is immaterial you will deduct it from the costing part and the sale of scrap any if you receive these are all bonuses these will be these are all cost and these is this is like bonus okay to understand so anything that is coming as an inflow in the pocket will be deducted from the cost and hence will reduce your cost so here the cost becomes 3 lakh 20000 this 3 lakh 20000 will be okay in the selling ratio so there was 5000 units and 4000 see here there are 5000 units and 4000 units okay and they have their selling price 60 and 50 okay here is the sale value by multiplying 5000 into 60 and 4000 into 50 three is to two ratio the 3 lakh 20000 cost of the dp uh, of the joint cost will be allocated in their selling price and this is the costing okay now the closing stock that is 250 and 100 will be multiplied with the closing cost 
and that's how you'll get the amount of the closing stock are you clear in the chat box you'll write clear and then only we'll move ahead write clear next So there are two types of costing if there are similar type and similar identical uh, goods available then what we'll be doing we'll be recording it at uh, similar pricing either retail and all if the products are not identical then we'll be trying the other method okay that is specific identification of the inventory mass fashion is a new luxury retail company located in Lajpat Nagar, New Delhi. Kindly advise the accountant of the company on the necessary accounting treatment for the following items. One of the company's product line is beauty products, particularly cosmetics such as lipsticks, moisturizers and compact makeup kits. The company sells hundreds of uh, different brands of these products. Each product is quite similar, is purchased at similar price and has a short life cycle before a new similar product is introduced. So there are multiple variety of products, lines of products. The point of sale and inventory system is not yet fully functioning in the department. The sales manager of the cosmetic department is unsure of the cost. So for recording the inventory, you need to know the cost. But here the manager is not sure about the cost. If it is not sure about the cost, then what you can do is you can simply calculate cost by selling price minus gross margins okay each of the product but is confident about the selling price and has reliably informed you that the company on an average makes a gross margin of 65 percent on each line since the cost is not clear we are following this method sale price minus the gross margin you'll get cost and this is known as retail method next mass fashion also sells handbags the company manufactures their own handbags as they wish to be assured of the quality and craftsmanship which goes into each handbag. The handbags are manufactured in India in the head office factory which has made handbags for the last 50 years. Normally Mars, uh, Mars manufactures 1 lakh handbags a year in their handbags division which uses 15% of the space and overheads of the head office factory. The division employs 10 employees and is seen as being an efficient division within the overall company. Since you know all the cost and all, you can add up the cost and calculate your amount or the cost at which the inventory will be valued. If you know all the inputs, you can add them and simply calculate the cost. In the first case, you are not knowing the cost. Therefore, we calculated in a reverse manner, selling price minus the gross margins. Okay. Next, very simple FIFO, LIFO and weighted average methods. We'll try an example. You'll try to calculate along with me. You'll tell the answers, okay? FIFO and weighted average method. So there are opening. There is opening inventory, sales, purchases, sales, sales, purchases. Okay, a log has been given. So you have opened up with inventory of 100. So if you talk about one, we'll talk about one method each uh, one by one. Okay, if you talk about FIFO method, first in, first out. Anything that has been brought in first will be sold out first. Okay, are you clear? So here, First thing that has been brought in was brought was purchased at 2.10 costing. Okay. Next, after out of this hundred, 75 has been sold. Now again a purchase was made 150 units more was, was purchased and it was at 2.10. 80. Again a sale was made, purchase was made and total 300 units, 175 sold. This means 125 is the remaining stock is 
now you have to make you have to calculate the amount of the stock out of 300 175 have been sold 125 is remaining okay so if you talk about p4 out of this 175 gone okay again 150 added then 100 gone this means uh, one for this 300 the 100 units the uh, the 50 units plus the 75 units from this will be remaining okay 50 plus 75 out of this last will be remaining because first have been sold out so so you will be calculating 50 into this 3 and then 75 into this previous amount are you clear we'll get an amount of 360 are you clear to calculate the p4 amount right clear in the chat box because since p4 first in first out so uh, the remaining stock is what the uh, latest stock okay the last stock that has been brought in so you'll be calculating in the reverse manner so you need to have 125 out of this 50 is the this one purchase see we'll talk about this one purchase and second purchase so 50 is remaining out of the second purchase and the remaining 75 are remaining are from the first purchase okay similarly if we talk about weighted average what we do is this is the actual cost 780 divided by 300 units 780 divided by 300 units you you get an answer of 2.6 you will multiply your remaining closing inventory 125 into this weighted average amount we we'll get an amount 325 the amounts from p4 and weighted average different different methods will be different okay will be different okay our our live marathon has crossed 100 views great next similarly try this okay illustration number 10 whether an entity can use different cost formula for inventories held at different geographical locations having similar nature and use to it okay so it is said that if you are having similar nature similar use then you have to use same formula okay you cannot use different different formulas just on the basis of different geographical locations read this answer once if it is for same purpose same type same nature use is same then you have to record it at same value okay using same method use same cost formula for all inventories having similar nature and use you cannot just use different different methods for different different geographical locations okay next illustration number 11 please try this on your own please very simple periodic inventory system you have to record it okay so there are four th this has been inventory i'll help you otherwise pause the video once inventory is there 200 purchases 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 okay now cost is given total cost is given physical inventory 31st march 2020 is uh, the law 600 have been sold and 400 are remaining okay now you have to make it uh, using you have to calculate using p4 and weighted average p4 how you'll be calculating 350 from here and 50 from here okay so 350 into 14 and 50 into 12 okay and for weighted average what you'll be doing 12250 divided by 1000 Are you clear? Try this once. Very simple question. We have just done an example similar to this. In case of any doubt, please ask.
in the session number 12th. Whether the following cost should be considered while determining the neutralizable value of the inventory? Cost of completion in the work, work progress, work in progress. Okay. Trade discounts expected to be allowed on sale. And cash discounts. So you know cash discounts should not be included. Cost of completion of work in progress will be included. And trade discounts will be included and cash discounts will be ignored. Okay, okay, no worries. Example number five. A loss realized on sale of product after the end of the period may well provide evidence of the net realizable value of that product at the end of the period. However, in this product, if this product is, for example, an exchange traded commodity and the loss realized can be attributed to the fall in price on the exchange after the period date, then this loss would not in itself provide evidence of the net realizable value at the period end date. It is said that the fall in price is just related to the exchange and all, okay, uh, exchange after that period ended, then you will not consider it, okay. If there is rise in price, you will consider it. If there is fall in price, you will not consider it, okay. Illustration number 13. ABC Limited manufactures and sells papers envelope. The stock of envelopes was included in the closing inventory as of 31st March 2001 at a cost of Rs 50 per pack. During the final audit, the auditors noted that the subsequent sale price for the inventory at 15th April 2001 was Rs 40 per pack. Furthermore, inquiry reveals that during the physical stock take, a water leakage was there, has created damages to the paper and the glue. Accordingly, in the following week, ABC Limited has spent a total of Rs 15 per pack for repairing and reapplying glue of, to the envelope. So there has been extra cost included. Yes, extra cost included, included, then you have to deduct it from the NRE. See, extra cost, you have to deduct it from the NRE. Okay, and then you get, deduct it from the selling price and then you get NRE. Great, next. At the end of its financial year, company P has 100 units of inventory on hand recorded at a carrying amount of Rs 10 per unit. The current market price is Rs 8. The current market price is 8 at which these units can be sold. Company P has a firm sale contract with company Q to sell 60 units at Rs 11 per unit which cannot be settled net. Estimated incremental selling price is Rs 1. So this estimated increasing incremental price 1 will be deducted. So 11 is your price and 1 will be deducted. So your selling NRV is 10. Okay. And remaining for the remaining you have to calculate 8 minus 1. That is your current market price at which these units can be sold. Are you clear? So simply it would be 60,000 units into rupees 10. Why 10? 11 minus 1. And the remaining 40, remaining goods 40 will be multiplied with 7. That is 8 minus 1. Different, different NRVs are given. Just a little different example. Illustration number 15 is very good. Very simple. You simply have to calculate NRV over here. So you have estimated selling price minus selling cost. Deduct this amount, 7,800 minus 500, that is 7,300. Okay, 18,000 minus 200, that is 17,800. Correct me if I go wrong. 17,000 minus 200, that is 16,800. 7,500 minus 150, that is 7,350. Okay. Now you compare this cost and NRV, okay, whichever is lower you will be calculating it at the, at this amount and then you will get a final value. Try to attempt this on your own, this is very simple, in case of doubt please 
ask doubt Okay, next. Illustration number 16. There is an inventory. Finished goods is 1000. Raw material is 1100. KG purchases is 10,000 KG. Labor, overhead, sales, closing inventory. Closing is 900 and 1200. Okay. The expected production for the year was 15,000 KG of the finished product. Due to fall in market demand, the sales price for the finished goods was rupees 20 per kg and the replacement cost for the raw material was 9.5 kg. Okay. You are required to calculate the closing inventory as on that day. Okay. So you have opening inventory 1000. Okay. 1000. And closing inventory 1200. Sale is given 10,000. Credited. Okay. So make an inventory ledger. The difference amount is 10,200. This is your purchase amount. Okay. Simple. simple. Now you simply have to see. Okay. The costing of it. And if the finished goods are. Since there is fall in price. The finished goods are recorded at NRV. If finished goods are recorded at NRV. Then your raw material will be recorded at replacement cost. That is 9.5. So selling price 20 NRV. Finished goods you'll be recording at 20. See, finished goods will be recorded at 20. Whereas raw material will be recorded at 9.5. Are you clear? Next. See, costing here it is recorded at 20 finished goods. And since finished goods are recorded at NRV. You have to record your raw material at replacement cost. Okay. Next. Very good BM. Very good. Next. Illustration number 17. Sun Pharma Limited, a renowned company in, in the field of pharmaceuticals has the following four items in inventory. Good. Very good. Very good. Sun Pharma Limited, a renowned company in the field of pharmaceuticals, has following four in items in the inventory. The cost and NRV is given as follows. So, cost is given, NRV is given. You simply have to, item wise item, what you can do is simply compare whichever is lower, you will calculate and add. Okay. On a group basis, you will what you will do? 14,540 divided by the units. Okay. Group, group basis. The same cost is given. If they ask per unit, then what you can do? You can divide by units, number of units. Are you clear? By item wise item, you have compared lower of the cost and NRV whichever is lower. Cost or NRV whichever is lower for item by item basis. Are you clear? Write in the chat box clear. Okay, your next example number seven. An item of inventory costing twenty thousand, as covered under Illes two, is consumed in the construction of self-constructed property to be counted as PPE under India sixteen. Okay, so it is said that it needs to be put as self-constructed property under PPE, property plan and equipment. Okay, cost of such property plan and equipment other than inventory is eighty thousand. Such inventory needs to be capitalized in the cost of property plan and equipment 
the useful life of the property plan and equipment is 5 years the depreciation on property plan will be charged up upon 5 years okay so normally the ppe ppe already was 80000 you are adding this inventory and capitalizing it you are adding this inventory so the ppe now becomes is 1 lakh are you clear you are capitalizing is this this is capitalization that means you have added the cost to the portion of ppe property plan and equipment now we'll head towards our we'll take one minute break and page number 7.33 will we'll discuss our test your knowledge questions okay there are six questions we'll discuss one by one each of them page number 7.33 are you able to get this in case if you want to finish whole course for may 23 and november 23 okay either in english or hindi there are download the app i've shared the app link with you okay there the courses are available and there is an index available please make sure you check the index very uh, carefully okay the number of views there are uh, unlimited number of views you can view each and every lecture multiple times there is no restriction validity for the course is 15 months okay that means it will be available with you for the next 15 months it can be viewed on laptop as well as on your mobile phones any other query related to the course or are you interested in having the course enrolling for the course we have discussed each and every chapter in this manner we have discussed all the notes first and on the basis of this we have tried to solve each and every example and question answers of ICI module okay similarly there is Hindi course in which same content is there similar pattern is there but the delivery language is Hindi Please make sure you please make sure uh, you are downloading the app okay and following the telegram channel uh, these notes will be provided on the telegram channel and for entire course notes you can download the app it is available over there You know our telegram channel or should I should I share this also it is there it is given in the description box also okay in exam we have to mention the definition of PPE uh, no it, it isn't required in the practical portions uh, the definitions of particular things are not required no no it is not required okay we just have to say that uh, since as per india's two this need to be capitalized therefore we are adding it to property plan and equipment portion that is in the year 16 so we, we, instead of showing it as inventory we are showing it this particular amount in the balance sheet as ppe okay anybody else who wants to know anything about this india's two or Tomorrow we will be having a same revision marathon on India 60 where also we will cover the main portions, uh, the main concept part and then we will head towards the ICI question answer part. Okay. Even this whole lecture will be uh, uh, can be viewed as recorded on the YouTube itself. Any other doubt, any other thing that you want to ask me? This is a very good chance to be be live with me uh, there is an added advantage you get your answers then and there okay
actually for iOS that is Apple phones and all Apple systems uh, the name of the app is class plus and there they ask your org org code or organization code and you have to put hsggo okay because they they haven't taken some uh, i don't know exactly domain and all for the ios not taken permissions from ios and therefore the name of the app is different for ios systems any other query please let me know how was class till now Anything that you want to give me as a suggestion, feedback, any other query? Okay, let's start. Okay, try to answer. Yes, dear. Notes for this marathon and tomorrow's marathon will be available on Telegram. Okay, and if you want notes of entire subject, okay, entire syllabus, then it is provided as course. Okay, you will have to enroll for it. Okay, let's uh, check our next question first. Uh, page number seven point three three ICI module CA final FR. We'll uh, we are trying test your knowledge questions. UA Limited purchase raw material at the rate rupees four hundred per kg. Company does not sell raw material but uses in production of finished goods. The finished goods in which raw material is used are expected to be sold at below cost. Okay, so finished goods will be sold at lesser amount, that is NRV. If finished goods will be sold at NRV, then raw material will be sold at then raw raw material will be sold at replacement. Okay, at the end of the accounting year, company is having ten thousand kg of raw material in inventory. As the company never sells the raw material, it does not know the selling price of the raw material, and hence cannot calculate the realizable value of the raw material for valuation of inventory at the end of the year. However, replacement cost of raw material is rupees three hundred per kg. How will you value the inventory of raw material? Okay, so you will be calculating it at replacement value. Okay. Let's see the answer. <laughs> Thank you. See, the amount available will be calculating it at three hundred per kg. This is the replacement amount. Why? Because finished goods are valued at NRV, and the valuation of raw material is entirely dependent upon finished goods valuation. Okay. So if finished goods valued at NRV, we have to value the raw material at replacement cost. Are you clear? Next question. Question number two. Sun Limited has fabricated special equipment. Sun Limited has fabricated some special equipment. Solar power panel. the uh, doing revision of all the indias is uh, not possible because the attempt is may 23 okay so from may beginning your exams will start okay so we just have 140 days and doing entire syllabus is uh, not possible what you can do is uh, i will suggest if you are okay with this okay uh, then please enroll for the course there you can uh, revise it on your own pace even you can do it 2x and anything that you are okay like like okay i have already covered this questions and answers then you can skip that part as well so if if you want to prepare your uh, ca final financial reporting in very quick time like 50 60 hours 
okay you are there to spend then please enroll for the course the notes are also available entire ici module is available over there good next as per drawing and design supplied by the customer okay so the, there is customer specific inventory however due to liquidity crunch the customer has requested the company for postponement in delivery schedule and requested the company to withhold the delivery of finished goods products and discontinue the production of balance item okay so the liquidity crunch the customer is not in a good position if not in a good position then what you'll be doing how however due to the liquidity crunch the customer has requested the company for postponement in the delivery and requested the company to withhold the delivery okay in case if the customer is not financially fit what we do we record it at zero we record it at okay Thirty lakh. Here, for this, you will have to calculate and record it at zero nil value. Why nil? Because your customer is not financially fit. Is not financially fit. if you are able to understand this all concept if you are able to answer this particular question then and you are preparing for icci exams then please 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 note one advice please note one advice what you can do is please try to observe the answer carefully see line by line how it is attempting and try to replicate it okay the more you replicate the answer the higher marks you will be able to score okay try to don't cram it don't just learn it try to read the concept try to answer it in your head and the way of presenting you should always follow icci module okay next next in uh, question number 3 on 31st march 2001 the inventory of abc can includes fair parts which it had been supplying to a number of different customers for some years the cost of the fair part was 10 million based on retail price at 31st march 2001 the expected selling price of the fair part is 12 million okay so the nrv is higher on 15th april 2001 due to market fluctuation expected selling price of the fair part is stocked stock reduced to 8 million the estimated selling price requires to make the sale would be 0.5 so that means nrv and the selling cost so you have to identify the selling price selling cost is 0.5 million okay financial statements were approved by the board of directors on 20th april itself okay so on 15th march the fluctuation happened and the um, uh, statements were approved on 20th april before the approval as at 31st march 2002 directors noted that such inventory is still unsold and lying in the warehouse of the company directors believe that inventory is in saleable condition and active marketing would result in an immediate sale since the market conditions have improved estimate selling price will be 11 million estimated selling expenses are 0.5 million you have to check where at 31st march 2001 and 2002 okay so we have seen that fall in price and rise in price okay we know that rise in value of the inventory of the cost up to cost only and fall in value of inventory okay will be recorded see here try to answer this question what will happen on 31st march 2001 and what will happen on 31st march 2002 please answer i am waiting for your answers you have to simply check whether this is an adjusting event or not if the conditions were present then you will adjust this 
okay you will uh, record the fallen price you will record that particular inventory on nrp if you uh, check and the conditions are not available the, on the uh, balance sheet date then you will say that this is non adjusting event and you will not record it at nrb you will simply keep that particular price itself you will not reduce it are you clear you will record it at cost itself so you have to make a judgment you have to make a clarification whether it is an adjusting event or not while answering also you have to follow this pattern okay next question question number 4 you will try this on your own because we have done similar same question same question the capacity the hours were given the cost was given variable and overheads were given try to do this on your own next fifth question sharp trading in corporation purchases purchases a motorcycle from various countries and exports them to europe sharp trading has incurred ex these expenses during the year cost of purchase based on vendor yes trade discount we'll consider we'll deduct it import duty is 200 if refundable then not if not refundable we'll add it in the cost okay freight and insurance yes other handling cost yes salaries and uh, of accounting department will not consider brokerage commission payable to intending indenting agencies agents that means those are initiating the purchases yes we will include sales commission payable to the sales agent no will not include after sales warranty not included we'll add this all and then in the end the amount that we get will be recorded as the cost of the inventory in the balance sheet okay last question for the day and then we'll see you on the then we'll see you on the uh tomorrow's revision marathon okay question number 6 on 1st january 2001 an entity accepted an order for 7000 custom made corporate gifts on 3rd january 2001 the entity purchased raw material to be consumed in the production Hit, uh, how much 550 550000 including 50000 A refundable purchase taxes if the taxes are refundable you don't include in the cost of inventory that means you will be including the purchase price paid only 5 lakh and not 50000 are you clear the purchase price was funded by raising a loan 5 lakh 50000 including 5000 as loan raising fees the loan is secured by the inventories that means it is pledged over there during january 2001 so you will have to make a note for the pledge inventories During January 2001 the entity designed the corporate gifts for the customer design cost include the costings that have been included cost of external designer labor all will be included during February 2001 the entity's production team developed the manufacturing techniques and made further modifications necessary to bring the inventory to the condition specified in the agreement the following costs were incurred in the testing phase materials net of rupees 3000 covered from the sale okay so this is the amount that they have received okay will be deducted so material net of 3000 so this means 21000 uh, it was 24000 minus 3000 24000 they have spent and 3000 they have received back so this is 21000 we'll add it as it is we'll add this labor depreciation of plant used to perform the modification this will be Uh, added during the february 2001 the entity incurred the following additional cost in manufacturing the customized corporate gifts consumable stores labor depreciation of plant used to manufacture the customized corporate gifts okay if specifically identified the customized corporate gifts were ready for sale on 1st march 2001 no abnormal wastage occurred in the development and manufacture of the corporate gifts compute the cost of inventory substantiate your answer with appropriate reasons and calculations wherever required so you just have to calculate last answer okay simply you will be adding all the co uh, amounts that have been given this 50000 will not be recorded because it was refundable taxes okay loan raising fees not included it will be taken to the pnl any interest portion taken to the pnl we only take the cash price we only take the cash price okay purchases given conversions labor given 
production overhead production overheads okay other cost other cost 37000 is already given 37000 is already given that is 21000 material see 21000 material and 11000 labor and 5000 depreciation all calculated equals to 37000 are you clear and borrowing cost will be transferred to pnl as you know the interest cost will be transferred to pnl that 5000 that was taken as loan amount will also be included in the pnl okay not in the cost so here comes your cost please make sure you uh, very carefully observe the answer writing pattern of icm module and try to replicate as much as possible try to revise it as many times as possible other than that if required then write and practice okay so see you tomorrow in the next revision marathon i hope you liked it in case of any doubt please comment or download the app or dm on our insta anything you can do it reach out to us we'll make sure we help you as much as possible solve all your queries as much as much as possible for courses please download the app okay see you in the courses see you in tomorrow's in in tomorrow's live marathon okay in day 16 we'll be covering over there thank you so much for joining in i'm really really glad that you joined in you showed so much of interest throughout the lecture thank you so much special thanks to gurudath vm murugam thank you so much anybody else who wants to ask me anything please drop a text over here i'm here for chat other than that see you on the other side of the courses app and the revision marathon bye bye thank you thank you so much i'm ending this lecture over here we had a two and a half hour non stop marathon i'm glad i did it and you joined in thank you so much thank you thank you